This is yet another question where if you're really calm with the algebra, th this is not this is not hard, right? This is gonna take you two seconds. But if you are unsure about algebra, I still think you can get this right. It's gonna take you longer, but Desmos is gonna be really helpful here. So let's start with the simple solution. What I recognize is that based on what I was given, I need to combine some fractions, right? I need to smush these two things together and get one single fraction. So in order to do that, I need to get common denominators. So the rules of fractions have not changed just because now we have an A and a K and all this other stuff. In order to add fractions, you need common denominators. So in this case, the common denominator is K. So we would multiply the right term by k over k. And if it helps you to think of it as 42ak over 1, you can do that. So what that's going to let us do then is now have 42a over k plus 42ak squared over k. So now that we have k's, we can just keep going. And so the k is here. We have 42a plus 42ak squared. We can then factor, but if that bothers you, remember, you don't have to get all the way to the right answer. You can just kind of notice like, all right, it's probably going to be C or D here because A and B don't look like that, right? We can't combine with the, the, the K squared piece is not going to let us combine with the, the 42A, but we could always distribute and understand what's going on. And, and probably at this point, you're like, oh, it's probably D because that's the one with the K squared. Yeah, that's it. Now, the, the math involved is to find a greatest common factor for the top, which would be 42a. If we pull that out of the first piece, well, that's just a 1, right? So 42a divided by 42a is 1. And then if we do the same thing on the other part, that's k squared. And again, it doesn't quite look like the top, but they just flipped it because 1 plus k squared is the same as k squared plus 1, right? So you got to be flexible here. They might not give you exactly the answer that you find, but if you understand the basic properties of, of addition and, and and I guess in this case division, it's pretty simple, right? So um, that is the fastest way to do it. Um, I still think you should be using scratch paper here where at question 19, it's very easy to make a mistake in our head. So I don't want to lose points for something I, I could have done if I just took a second to write it down. So I would do that. We could arithmetize here as well, it's possible. Um, I'm not gonna do it because if we pick the simplest numbers like A and K both being one, it's not gonna get us the right answer. It's gonna get us a bunch of answers that could work. So we would have to choose new numbers and so it gets time consuming. But Desmos lets us arithmetize really easily. So what I could do here is just say, all right, what happens if I have 42, uh, let's do, let's literally do A. So A uh, divided by K, um, divided by, K plus uh, plus 42AK, 42AK. Uh, so if we put it in, it's not going to let us do anything, right? Because it's saying, okay, well, we don't know what to do with this. We don't have any values of A and K. So we can hit this, and now we have sliders, and it's going to tell us 84 is the value, right? So what I would need to do at this point is start putting the answer choices in as well. It's going to use the exact same values of A and K. But look, if I do that with choice A, that's 84a divided by k. That also gives me 84. And this is the problem, right? Is This is if I had arithmetized the simplest numbers, I would have gotten the same thing over and over again because they, they kind of just structured the question that way. But if we manipulate the numbers, right? So if I make a is equal to 2, now we'll always have the same number. Huh. Is it going to keep, oh, it's going to keep working. So A, look, A doesn't affect it, right? Because it keeps being the same number. So let's bring that back to one. Let's play with K, right? So K, I don't know, let's make that, I don't know, let's just say five, right? And now we see a difference, right? Now we see our original is 218.4 and this answer choice A is 16.8. But if these are equivalent expressions, they're supposed to produce equivalent values when we plug the same values in. So I'm not gonna go through all the choices we would need to, because it's possible that we gotta change the values a lot. But if I just do the, the one we have, so that's 42 um, A times K squared, K squared, this is boring, plus one, close the parentheses and divide by K, we get 218.4 and let's go back to the top, 218.4. Right, so a lot of scrolling, a little difficult uh, on the tablet especially, but even on the computer, that Desmos keyboard is gonna, or Desmos screen is gonna take up a lot of your actual screen and maybe block out the questions, so you gotta move it around. So that's why I don't really recommend this, but it works, it works 
definitively. So if you are not good at algebra, you have to be using Desmos a lot. You've gotta be using that to kind of save yourself on these questions that you otherwise might make a mistake on because you're not confident on the rules. Desmos will let you kind of circumvent it. So a good question to target if you're bad at algebra because Desmos is so useful.